today I um, just got a new light so hopefully the lighting is better we'll find out when I edit this video and I just wanted to create this fun spring look for you today super colorful the eyeliner is a little bit complicated I guess it's not complicated to do but it's it looks complicated on the eye so you can go with or without liner with this look so feel free to do that um, so I hope you enjoy this look. I was just feeling for something colorful and fun and flirty and like, you know, it looks complicated but it's not. So I hope you really enjoy it. Let me know what you think down in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of tutorial. So I hope you have a great day. Bye bye! Today we're going to start with the eyes. I'm going to use this NARS concealer in Chantilly to prime my eyes. I'm just going to dot some of that on and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Then using my E40 from Sigma, I'm just going to set all of that with this white eyeshadow. Then I'm going to use the Sigma E25. I think that's what it is. It's completely blurred off on the handle, but I'm pretty sure this is the E25. I'm going with this shade right here. This is the Morphe 35C palette. And I'm going to blend that out in my crease and then also my inner and outer corner. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go into this pink color right here and do the same motion, but a little bit closer to the inner part of my eye. When I'm going into my outer corner, I'm wiggling a little bit so that it gets a little bit on my lid, but not too much. And then I connect it through the halo of my crease. And then using my newest favorite brush, this is the Morphe M506 brush. It's a tapered little blending brush, super tiny. I'm going to use this brown color right here and basically go right under that pink color that we just laid. I'm going to be using this darker brown right here and put that close to my lash line and blending that into what we just put down. And going back to that Morphe brush, I'm going to take the brown color that we were using with that brush and I'm going to blend this and bring it a little bit into the crease. Now I'm taking this Sigma brush again and I'm taking that pink color and blending out the edges. Then I'm going to use this Maybelline Color Tat to eyeshadow. It's a cream shadow, but I just like to use it as a base. I'm just taking my fingertip and I'm putting that right in the center of my eyeball. Taking this flat shader brush from MAC, I think it's the 242 brush, the numbers are faded off. I'm going to take this teal color right here and put that exactly where I put that white base. Then taking the M506 brush again from Morphe, I'm going to use this brown color again and just blend out the edges. And then taking this brush, I'm going to just um, use that original transition color that we're using and I'm going to just lightly buff that. Then I'm going to use this ColourPop eyeliner and the color Punch and line up my eyes with a wing. And then so that yellow liner stands out more, I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio 
um, gel liner and black is black and another the same angled brush I just wiped it off um, this is the Sigma E85 brush Today I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I have to use the 101 and the 102 because I am like perfectly in the middle of them. So what I'll do is first I, make sure my fingers are clean, will dot the lightest shade on and then I will take the darker shade and dot it around there too. And then I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and blend it all out. And then I will use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I will use this to cover any dark circles that I have under my eyes, but then also use it to highlight my face. And when you're highlighting your face, you essentially want to put the concealer where the sun would bring light to your face, so down your nose and on your chin and forehead and on your cheeks. Just on the apples though. And then bringing the concealer back by your temples will lift your eyes. And then I will use the damp beauty blender to clean that out. Clean it out? <laughs> Blend it out. And then I'm going to use the Smashbox Contouring T Trio. Um, first, I'm going to use the contour stick. And I'm going to draw a line from the top of... from this part of my ear towards the, uh, my mouth. But I'm going to stop before I get to my eye. So right there. And then I'm going to bring it up the side of my head. On the bottom of my lip. That's about it. And I'm going to use a beauty blender and blend that out. I find that the beauty blender takes a little bit longer to blend out, but it looks most natural. And it's the most controlled, whereas if you use a brush, then it's a lot harder to maintain the exact spot that you put the contour where the beauty blender, since you're tapping it into your skin, you're working it into your skin while picking up the excess product. And I actually went a little bit ham, so I'm gonna lighten up around my eyes real fast. Then I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs contouring palette to set the rest of that. I'm just taking this angled blush brush from Sigma and just, I'm not trying to get more color, I just want to set it so that it doesn't go anywhere. Then using this tapered brush from Sigma, the F35, I'm going to take the lighter color and set underneath that contour. And then set my concealer. I'm using this mauve color from number 7. This is Soft Damson. I'm going to use this as my blush today with this little itty bitty blush brush. I use this Sephora highlight in the color Stardust. Also using that tapered Sigma brush. I'm just putting this on the top of my cheekbones and then above my eyebrow. I'm going to put it down my nose and on my cupid's bow and my chin. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use this pencil brush from Sigma and take this warm brown color that we were using before. I sweep this under my lash line. Then 
Then I'm going to take this flat definer brush and I'm going to press that teal color that we used on our lid up against my lash line. And then lightly with that warm brown color and that pencil brush, just slightly buff out the bottom of that. I'm going to use this nude liner from Wet n Wild and line my water line. Then taking a little bit of that Stardust highlight from Sephora and a small precision brush, this is just a no-name thing, I'm going to put that right on my inner corner and slightly into my waterline. Actually, I'm going to bring that all the way in my waterline. Now I'm going to add my favorite mascara at the moment. This is the Lash Sensational Luscious by Maybelline. Then I'm going to quickly use my Bodyography Trio to fill in my eyebrows. Alright, and for lips today, I'm going to use the NARS Satin Lip Pencil. Unfortunately, I cannot pronounce this to save my life, but I will leave it in the description box down below. It's kind of this mauve color. And this is the final look. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. We've already won.